Three days in a row, guys. Holy frick. How is this possible? No, but in all seriousness, though, guys. Yes, welcome back to Solar's Lab 2 for the third day in a row. Holy frick. I think the land is actually fixed again forever. If this is all possible. Because for like the last three days, I've been getting in completely fine. I seriously have no idea how this has been happening. But it's awesome! Anyway, guys, today it is Saturday, August 8th, 2020. So guys, today in the lab, we have a ton of cool updates. Yes, you might see something right there back behind me right there. I'll get into what that is later. Because as you can see, it looks like a certain entrance to somewhere. And that's actually one of today's updates. And I'll get to that pretty much right now. Before I do though, let's go ahead and um, do some stuff here because we got some updates. First things first, we are actually gonna head down to the Love Doom HQ. And yes, I do have all the other areas open now, as you can see. Yep, all of them are open. Now we're gonna head down here first, as you can see. We can just head back down to the storage room from yesterday that I built yesterday and showed you. Now, right here, as you can see, we got two more chests that you didn't see yesterday. First, we got Lab Doom, and over here, we also got the Fiesta stuff. So let's open up Lab Doom first. As you could have clearly guessed, it is filled with all the Lab Doom stuff, including all the stuff from the Doom devices, and of course, all the blocks that would be spread around the lab during the event itself. And lastly, we got this other chest with all the Fiesta stuff. It has all decorations from previous PS2 events. Now, I know we haven't had one of those in the lab in either of them since 2017. And it's coming back next Thursday as a weekend-long mini-event. Uh, but yeah, oh, and those, this is also the original armor from them, which was never named anything. But yep, this was all the decoration from the event back then. Now, we're done with this room forever. Now, you actually might notice a few semi-changes. Yes, some of the lights are gone. Um, and that's because that actually does have to do with the Loud Doom HQ. We're going to head right back up there again. Yep, all right, we're back up here again in the Loud Doom HQ. Now, as you can see, we have various places that were not open yesterday. Yep, as you can see, Snowland is now open. Uh, well, yeah, the exit's still there, obviously. We got the Potion Lab, Rose Crystal's Room, and the Water Dojo. Oh, and we also got a garage. Yes, the garage, that's actually a brand new room. I will get to that later, because that's the biggest part of today. That took me like, I don't know, three to four hours. Actually, no, 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 sorry. That took me like, Two to three hours to make. But I'll get to that at the end. Let's go to Snowland for... Whoa! How about we do it in the order I created them? So we're going to go here that says Water Dojo. And that can also explain why those are there. Yep. Easily can explain why those are there. Yep. That's why. Because of this. Yep, that can easily explain why these are there in this room, as you can see. Yep, that's, it can ex easily explain why those are there. Yeah, Bl Blossom's looking at me up there, from down there. And as we can see, we got the whole tube going down to the water dojo, as so. And yes, the water journey stuff is gone, although technically, I still have all the armor right here. I'll put it back once we close these off next week. Or actually, they might be open for like until the Rainbow Party, actually. Yeah! They'll be open until the Rainbow Party. 
anyway, right here, we got another one from Snowland. This is in the same spot as well, just like the Water Dojo. Now, if we go through this path, this obviously leads through Snow Dojo. Uh, no, 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 that leads through the Snowland. And, as you can see, we are right back up. We just went through Snowland right there. And, yep. Next up, we got the Potion Lab. This will immediately lead us down there. Hold on. There we go. Now we gotta do two entrance ways. Well, this one is for Rose Crystal's room, and that's also where that tunnel came from. And we just go right here. Yep, we're right here in the Potion Lab. Yep, we're right here in the Potion Lab. Yep, right here. So that's super cool. Now, even though we could go either path, though, I'll still take it down the original. Rose Crystal's room. This one took a long time to do. Okay, that's blocked off. Uh, let's fix that. Okay, that's better. Actually, I don't really like it that way. Let's, uh, let's, let's change that. And that is much better! Okay, so now we know where we're going. And as we can see here, yep, you guys remember this little tunnel? That's exactly what that is for. And then the room is right this way. And then as you can see, it, we just come out of that right there. Now, let's just head back. And yes, I did put the torches in here for, for a reason. All right, and then we just come out of there. There we go. And lastly, but not least, wait! If I take this now, then you'll see what it looks like immediately. I want to show you guys the original way it looks. All right, that means, um, uh, let's just take the nearest place. Uh, yeah, let's go the storage room. Which is the shortest tube out of them all, as it's, as it's literally right there. Yep, we have all these interconnections again. Oh, actually, this did get an update right here just because of that. And so did that. Just because of that. Um, the same also goes for right there. Okay, I don't know why that was there. Okay, that was weird. Let's put that away. Uh, but yeah, the rest of this is still the same, though. Don't worry. Anyway... Guys, next up, we have to head down to the underground party room, and this is the last place for today. Oh, hold on. Alright, here we go. As you can see, we also got DJ Sheep. I mean, come on, he's been in here all this time. Now, you guys might actually notice something different. Remember how that room said garage? Well, this is where it comes in. Wait, I want to see. Okay, good. Nothing's burned down in here. Just making sure. DJ Sheep is literally leading the way to the garage. And yes, I'm not kidding. We have an actual garage here in Zola's F2 now. That was literally added today. This is now what used to be the destroyed room. As you can see, the sign that say the story room is no longer there because now there's actually something in its place. Which is awesome! Now, you're probably wondering how the heck do we get back there? Yes, we can see some symbols for what is back there. And there's an arrow there that points to here. Uh, let's move Deji Shape out of the way. Because he's supposed to be in here, but I really don't mind if he goes in the garage, though. Yes, we do have a garage, and yes, we do have a door right here, and as you can see, yes, it will open this, but ta-da! Look at this! Look at this amazing thing here. Look at this huge room. This is the garage. Holy frick. It's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. Obviously, I made my own custom version of the garage, and yes, that does open back up. Yep. 
Oh, and actually, that is exactly where this tube leads to. Hold on. You'll see in a second. It'll prove it. Yep, exactly. Yep. And yep, it literally leads right down here to the garage. Now, you're probably wondering, what is the point of this? Well, first off, where is the first half of it? Ah, there is midnight! Yes, one of the additions in at the garage quite literally is midnight, as you can see. We have midnight the horse right here, which is of course Rose Crystal's horse, obviously. And yes, I did have to put a bunch of trap stores there, because if you don't know what's in there, yeah, it's the it's the cave. So yep, the cave's in there. So I had to put a bunch of trap doors there. So yeah. Anyway, yes, I do put a ton of shroom lights there just to light up this room. It looks awesome, right? And keep in mind, this was all done today, on August 8th, 2020. There's a reason why I haven't uploaded for most of the day. My lord, I'm literally going to be back here tomorrow, again. We got something special tomorrow, regarding this world. So, yeah. Oh my god! My lord, this is epic. You do not know how epic this is. It is beautiful how much is in this garage. Yes, there is a purpose, and you're also probably wondering, what was this chest over here? Well, as you can see, we got Midnight Spawn Egg, we got a saddle, and a oh, diamond horse armor. That's just in case they die, of course. And yes, you're probably wondering what this is. It says go outside with Midnight, meaning we're going to have to go pick up Midnight and um, take him around here. Yes, I also did update the ceiling to look like this. There's, of course, hay on the floor, and that's super cool. So, watch this, guys. Yes, it will do that because um, this is kind of in the way right there. And look! Look at this awesome passageway. And ta-da! That is exactly what this little entrance was for. You probably saw it at the beginning. And then th that says back to the garage. Uh, and yep, now we can take out Midnight whenever we want. And then once we're done, we can obviously, you know, put him right back down here in the garage when we're done. Yep, we can literally take out Midnight whenever we want now. And we, again, once we're done, we can put him back in the garage so we don't lose them. So yeah, that's super, super cool, right? Now we have the ability of Midnight again, which is awesome. So that's a really, really nice feature I added in. Uh, Rose Crystal also thought this... Um, feature was awesome too. So yeah, because she said that she will be using this horse a lot more because, aha, this is her horse that I'm riding on. I'm not kidding, this was originally her horse. It always will be. Forever. So I'm literally riding her horse right now, here. Because this is her horse. I don't have one of my own here. Well, I do have two of them on Legos Island. One is a skeleton horse, and the other is just a normal horse. So yeah. Yeah, we can just ride Midnight around here. I even put um, Midnight in the cruise ship once. I did have to tear down a few blocks just to get him in. But I managed to, of course, put them back, as you can see. I had to, like, tear for the entrance, but yeah, you can see I did put the entrance back. Yeah, it's really, really, really cool. We can literally just go all around here, just have some crazy fun. And it's an absolute, like, blast just seeing all this. And it's awesome, right? See, we can do literally anything with this guy. Look, we can even go in here, for example. Okay. Uh... Guess we can go in here too. Ah, didn't think that. 
There's no way we can go anywhere else in the base. Yeah, this is kind of where we can only go in the base. I can't go all over the base with Midnight, because obviously it was, it's too small to go through. So, yeah, I, only I'm going to be able to. Yep, that's exactly what this looks like in the base. That's just a pure example. I should probably lock this back up for, you know, the escape again. There we go. Just lock them back up because they don't need to escape because Evil Suit Leader is still planning his next attack as we speak. I think at least. <laughs> oh yeah, we can even go down here too, but there's not really much you can do down here, so we're just gonna go come back out of here and just do something. Yeah, it's really, really nice that we got this ability now. Wait, hold on, that path is wrong. There we go, that's exactly how it's supposed to be. All right, now let me get you back there, Midnight. <laughs> All right. I think you guys got the purpose of this feature now. Let's head back down to the garage. And I'll always know where it is just because of this. Yep, let's head back down to the garage. Yep, there we go. See, now we're back here in the garage. Right where Midnight will be staying here. Yep. That's super cool, right? What did you think of that feature? It's awesome. Even Rose Crystal absolutely loves it. I think she says she'll test that feature tomorrow herself. So yeah. Now, you're probably wondering, what about the time machine here? Yes, there is the time machine here. As you can see, it is completely shut off. Yep, the time machine is completely shut off here, as you can see. Yep, it's completely turned off. And uh, you can't even get up here, as you can see, because it's not on. Eh, but I'll just go in. See? Look at this. We could literally just go in. Although, I guess I'll keep the block, just in case. But yep, see, look. The whole time machine is completely turned off. Yep, it is completely turned off in here, and, um, yeah, that's kind of how it exactly would go here. So, yeah, that is a really, really nice update, even though we get to start it on here, even though it will still not turn on, because the lights will still have to activate after a few seconds. But, no, we're not using the time machine right now, but we did park the time machine right here in the garage, just so we actually have a place to put it. Yeah, we're not going in there today. Nah, we're not going in the time machine today. Well, well, we, well, I did, it's just we're not going time jumping today. So we can just jump off of there and look at all of our other supplies. I don't really care what side Midnight is on. Gee, like, this horse can go on any side of the room. So it doesn't matter. So yeah. But yeah, this main part is the time machine side of the room. And as you can see, we got the time travel hat from last year's time travel party. Then we just got a clock. Then the blocks for this. Then we got a flint and steel to light the portals. Then we got glass for the regular doors. And then we got the lights for when it's turned off. And then we got the glowstone for when the time machine is turned on. So yeah. Of course, we also got the clock symbol right there. And of course, obviously, if you're wondering, uh, hold on. If you're wondering, the clock is obviously to choose where to go or the time. And that's super cool. Again, obviously, all these trapdoors obviously do indicate because right in here, that is the ore room. So that's why those are there. Yep, that's exactly why those trapdoors are there. Just because of that. It looks awesome, right? I know, I did a real good job on this. It's really, really cool. So, uh, yeah guys, that's actually it for the garage. 
feels like nothing else. So yeah, we have the time machine parked here. And also Midnight, I'll put her back on her side here. Even though they'll probably come back over here. But I just put them back on their side, just in case. Yeah, even though they're clearly just gonna come back over here. But yep. This is awesome, right? I know, this feature is awesome. And then, of course, if we're done for the day in the garage, we could just go back out here. Um, and yes, this does say back to underground party room. Then we could just close the door down and then just go out of here if we're done in there. So that's a nice feature right there. Yeah, this is a brand new room that has never been seen in Zoya's Out 2 before and was only just added today. I'm not even kidding. It was also just like that with the storage room. The storage room was added yesterday on August 7th and was never seen before that. So, I hope you guys love this feature. It's really, really, really awesome. My favorite part is obviously the garage because that's a huge room. And seriously, I could go back into it right now and just have way too much fun with it. I'm just making sure that closes. But yep, the garage is a really nice feature, and I love every bit of it. So, again, we're just going to go out of here for today. And just be done with it today. So, guys, that is it for today's updates in Zoas Out 2. Yes, you're going to see another one tomorrow, and then that's going to be the last one until Tuesday. And then Thursday. And then I'll go back to the normal schedule of so is that 3 on Tuesday, and then so is that 2 on Thursday. Old. Instead of having to do it every day, but my lord, guys, these updates have been going absolutely insane. And yes, we just were only in the garage, and we're already right back out here again. So man, that is a crazy feature. That is a crazy amount of updates today. That's like over three updates today. Wow! Like yesterday there was only two. Today there's three. Alright guys, like and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys later for Saturday Stories. Yes, I'm going to do it today. I promise you that. And it actually revolves around tomorrow actually, right here at the lab. Or is always up to. And it's going to be fun. What is your favorite update? What do you guys think of that new garage room? What do you also think of the rest of the chests in the um, uh, storage room? Also, what do you guys think of all the other tunnels leading to the various rooms around the lab from the Lab Doom HQ? Just again, no. The Lab Doom HQ will be open again until August 20th when the Rainbow Party starts. Then I will close it off again all the way until November. I'll see you guys. Uh, again for sorry stories later and yeah with that being said good bye but no seriously though my favorite update out of all of this is definitely the garage just comment down below your favorite update of today that is it wait why is it not letting me stop record oh there we go